Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster. And if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here. We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab. The head movement, it's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot, yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This will go to the fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the center. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice hit. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Caught that kick there. Nice punch, land. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Nice body. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands a big elbow there. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, straight right! Go for the takedown. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Pretty good right hand. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Just out of range with that strike. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice straight punch. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big kick land. Another punch there. Hopefully the stat guy will give him credit. Give him credit for the punch, even if it's not just a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Back and forth we go here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice strike. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Jump that round. You're all right. You're going to get back out there and put it on the end now. It's a little payback time. They're confident. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
much. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. That's a big strike right there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Look at the turtle in that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. And they separate. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Ooh, big shot land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. the size advantage, he certainly put it to good use there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh! All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. For them. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. We'll see how that feels. You don't want that, J.H. You do not want that. No one wants uh. that even trained professional. Whoa! Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants 
stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe and let it all hang out. The boxing looks amazing. Let's keep up the pace, keep up the pressure. He's a piece of... All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that bar or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Dig and kick. Single collar tie now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. The right hand just misses. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Throws the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique, and before you know it, boom, he lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, collar tie. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Now closes the distance. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that quick knee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punch no good. Got the single collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch lands over the top. And they clinch once again. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Big kick lands. Flips that left hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he got that boat as a target very quickly. Beautiful strike. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Collar tie here, and they separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. 20 seconds to go. Wow! Oh, 
hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Punch over the top. Go! Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Down into his mouth. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys are going to start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Head kick blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man, his leg kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your form. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight.
Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight he got that done. And he should be very proud 